to the vlogs. Before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. We are here in Geelong and we're going to be doing some stuff here for the day. We're going to be exploring the area and things to go to. So I am going to have a shower now and then we're going to go to breakfast. Okay, so we are driving to breakfast. We're going to this place called Sprout About. Interesting, we'll see what kind of food they have there. The rain has settled down a bit. Hopefully it will stay like this while we're out. We are here at the Sprout About. Here is their breakfast menu, Sprout About. So here is the sprout breakfast, that's what I went with. So it's got mushrooms, it's got bacon, some sourdough toast, we've got spinach, we've got eggs, well done, which is how I like them. And then I ordered a side of halloumi because I really like halloumi. And then I think this is a chutney, and then a lemon, which I'm not going to use anyway, but there you go. That is my breakfast. Okay, so the breakfast was really good. The toast was a bit soggy because it had all the ingredients on it. We are going to be driving to Queen's Cliff. We're going to be having a look at some lighthouses and doing some other stuff there. And we'll see where today takes us. As I mentioned, like, look how nice and sunny it is. The forecast said there was a 40% chance of rain. You wouldn't know, would you? Although apparently it was raining this morning, but it all seems to have cleared up now. So that's really good and is ideal for us going out. So we are at Port Arlington right now. We're just walking around. Go. Very over there. We're not going. We'll just see what's around. We're walking along the pier right now. other end of the pier. So here's like the view from here. It's pretty cool. And there's like a whole bunch of rocks over there. There's all the boats or ferries. Ferry there. So we are at Queen's Cliff right now. We're just walking around. Here's some of the boats. And then there's like a shop chain right here. And we're just having a look and seeing what's around here. So we are in the Queen's Cliff Observation Tower. We are going up to the observation deck and we'll see what things there are to observe. Up we go. Floor two. So here we are at the observation deck. Go. Now we can see everything. Berries, boats. There's a lot to see. Wow, you can see like all of Queen's Cliff here. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it, I'll just say. There's the fairy place. So cool what we can see from up here. And now we are heading down the stairs from the observation deck. It's pretty tall building. Going. It's really cool. It's very busy. And we are at the bottom. Almost. Almost. Still more stairs to go down. There's been 90 so far. Now we've made it. Oh no, we have not made it to the bottom. We're still going. I feel like I'm heading underground, but we're not. We are at the ground floor. In total, that was 136 steps. We went all the way up there from here. And now we're back on the ground floor. So right now we are looking at some old buildings, including the lighthouse there, which we're gonna go and see. And there's an old parliament building around here that we're also going to visit as well. So let's go. We were going to go and do this, but we can't because we didn't bring a photo ID and we didn't bring our masks and we can only access this area by tour, which sucks, and we didn't know that we had to do it by tour, and it is not 11 a.m. or 1.45, so it doesn't look like that we'll be able to do this. So we are here at Crumbs Cafe, we're doing this for lunch. This is their menu. Yep, and there's 
just some drinks. I'm gonna have an all day breakfast, but I'm gonna order off the lunch menu. Don't feel like breakfast. Here is our lunch. I've got fish and chips. I know, Mark eating fish. Who would have thought? But there you go. I do like beer battered fish, so that's the only reason why I got it. So, change of plans with the tour. We were able to actually be allowed in. We do have some form of ID with us and they said that that was okay, so that's all good. So we are going on the tour after all and yeah, we'll see where that takes us. We forgot to bring out masks, so they had to supply us with these ones. These are the ones I was talking about. They stink and they're just really horrible to wear and I hate them and they don't give me that much protection. So that sucks. the original main street of Queenscliff. When the military finished building the fort wall and the keep somewhere between 1882 and 85, they told all the civvies to get out and they had to go and start the town all over again. That then became a military hospital. It's now the Australian Army History Unit, has serving members, ex-members, volunteers, civilians, so they used to get their water from the water table or off the roofs. This is an example of two of the wells. This type of well, the brick one, you'll find in just about every old house in Queensland today. One bloke even cleaned his out and turned it into a wine cellar. <laughs> Having said that, the soldiers wouldn't drink this water because it tasted salty and dirty, so they'd go down the pub and get sloshed. The army then decided, we've got to do something about this, so they built a lemonade factory right here. So that a senior NCO or an officer plus six men could hold out in here for at least a week until reinforcements came back down from Melbourne if the fort was ever overrun by an enemy force. They could also put in there, organise other troops that were still in the fort and still alive to fight, fight actions back against the enemy. The walls on this are one metre thick. These bricks that the keep and the walls are all made out of are special bricks. They're called half-baked bricks. Now, we all heard the term half-baked idea, haven't we? Well, these are half-baked bricks and they are a good idea. But simply because if you bake them to the full temperature that a brick should be and built this structure, if it was hit by a cannonball or a musket ball, there would be sharp bits of brick flying off everywhere. We finished the tour. There was a lot of walking about, but you know, we learnt some stuff about the past and saw some lighthouses and some old buildings and yeah, learnt about the history. So we're here at Barwon Bluff right now. This is what it looks like. There's the waterfront. Then we can go down here to get a better view of it. That's cool. You can go right down to it until the water. And there's, that's where we were earlier today. So there you go, here it is. And then there's another little lookout over there. There's the view, although you can't really see it much from here. There you go, zoomed in. History and some information about Barwon Bluff. Right there. Time to walk all the way back up there again. We are back at our Airbnb. I left my jacket in the car on that tour, so I was very cold there. So now we're just gonna be hanging about here for a bit until it's time for us to go out to dinner. So we are going out for dinner. We are going to a Thai place called Bo Thai. Get it? Okay, that isn't really that funny. But yeah, they serve Thai food, which I haven't had in ages. So Thai food for dinner. It's close to the place where we went last night, Edge. So that's convenient for us. We are here at Bo Thai. We're sitting outside because it's really packed in there. But here is the menu for Bo Thai. So there's entree, stir fries, and curries, soup, salad, noodles, seafood, and rice. And then that's all the 
drinks. So our entree has come. We got some veggie spring rolls with a sweet chili sauce, I think. And then we've got some curry pasta with a sweet chili sauce. Or it might be sweet and sour sauce. I don't know. Our mains are starting to come. We got some red duck curry. And then we got some steamed rice to go on the side. So we got some roti bread with some satay sauce. Finally, here is our chicken pad thai. Watching the third episode of MasterChef Australia fans versus favourites. I'm going for Julie Goodwin because she's like the original OG. I never saw her season, but I'm going for her because I just really like her. And they're doing an immunity challenge and they're cooking with the food pyramid right there. And also got some kombucha to drink as well. The Thai food was really good. In fact, that was probably the best food that I've had on this trip. I've definitely enjoyed that a lot. And so that's saying something. But there you go. That is it for day six of our Victoria trip. This was our last full day in Geelong, or technically day trip to Queenscliff. Tomorrow we are leaving Victoria and we are flying back home and my battery is about to die so I better finish this up quickly. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. So, till next time in my next video, I shall see you then. Goodbye.